Good morning! Maayong buntag! Welcome to Negros! Join me as we travel through time by visiting historical sites here in Negros. My name is Rizal and I will be your travel buddy for this trip. First, let's see what our itinerary is for today. Our first stop will be the Bernardino Lopez Alandoni Ancestral House in Salai City. Now let's get on the road because we have a long way to get there. Wow! So this is Bernardino Lopez Alandoni Ancestral House. It's beautiful! Did you know that this ancestral house is known by many locals as the Pink House? The Don Bernardino Halandoni Museum in Silay City, Negros Occidental is one of the many national historical landmarks in the region. It was declared by the National Historical Institute as a historical site in November 6, 1993. The Bernardino Halandoni Museum along Rizal Street depicts the typical opulent houses during the early 20th century. It is a two-story house surrounded by other heritage houses in the area. The portion of the street in front of the pink house is narrower than the rest of the national highway because a Silainon group fought for the preservation of the legacy houses when a road development project endangered to destroy these old structures. The design of the Halandoni house is based from the structure of a typical nipa hut in the Philippines, although it is larger in scale. The house is made of balayong, a hard wood that had to be shipped by the Halandonis from Mindoro. In its interiors, the ceiling is made of embossed steel trays that were brought from Hamburg, Germany. The wooden transoms are cut out style or caladio that infuses complicated French design. Capiz shells are used in the large windows panels for better lighting, ventilation, and security. The Bernardino Halandoni Ancestral House sure is amazing and full of history. But for now, we need to travel to our next destination, which is the General Anisito Lacson Historical Landmark. We have arrived at the General Anisito Lacson Historical Landmark. Let's go see what's inside. General Anisito Lacson was known as an enterprising, hardworking, and optimistically driven individual who likewise made a fantastic contribution in sugar industry of the province and dates back in the later years of the 1800s. He built his house in the 1880s as a fruit of his labor and is deemed now as the grandest ancestral house in the Philippines with seemingly perfect symmetry according to some architects who work on heritage houses. The wood carvings in the staircase doors, including walls and partitions, were made by Chinese wood carvers that showed quality and mastery. The house still holds there the portraits of President Anisito Lacson and wife Rosario Araneta, their daughter Carmen Lacson Claparols and her husband Ricardo Claparols. The Lacson Ancestral House was declared a national monument by the National Historical Commission on March 13, 2002. Seeing this house really shows the lifestyle of the sugar barons back then in the Philippines. For our third and last stop, we are going to Balay ni Tana Dikang. I'm excited for this one, so let's get going. Balay ni Tana Dikang was constructed on a 6,000 square meter lot along Rizal Street in Talisay City. Built in the Spanish-Filipino style of domestic architecture that is known as the Bahay na Bato, literally House of Stone. The house is a two-story dwelling with wooden legs and a stone skirt around the lower area of the house. This stone wall is a meter thick and is embellished with brick and coquina, material of crushed shells and corals that in some places is carved into moldings and beveled panels. We had a fun and informative trip today. I hope you enjoyed going with me to the historical sites of Negros.